Right, it's even further uh, testing of the new uh, 500 watt, 1200 watt surge uh, pure sine wave inverter that I've got. I'm trying to stay out of this shot if I can. I've got it hooked up to a 30 amp power supply for testing purposes rather than a battery just for my convenience. I've got a, a little lamp here with an energy saver bulb in it. With the inverter running, switched on but no load. I don't know, it's about half an amp, an amp, something like that. Let's turn the little uh, LED light on. Sorry, the energy saving bulb. About half an amp more, I think. Now we've got another lamp with one of these in it. Now I can't quite really work out what the wattage is. It says 70 watt, 90 watt. It's a halogen bulb and it's 1175 lumens. That is in this lamp. Now we're drawing two, four, six, that's seven and a half amps from the power supply. Now I shall switch on my laptop uh, power lead. Call it that shot to 12 amps. Then lastly, got another bulb which I know is about 60 watt. And according to this, that's pulling about 18 amps. And it is at 12 volts. I'll just zoom in and show you that. Excuse all the menagerie here. Left hand side is the voltage. Right hand side is the amps. No complaints whatsoever. Now I will just give you a demo on this particular one because they're all going to be slightly different as to what voltage it shuts down as. Now where am I? Just going to start turning down the voltage now. The fans start to slow down in the inverter. 11 11.2, 11.1, 11, 10, 10.5 volts. That's just gone off. Comes back on about 11. Let's try that again. It's 10.6 volts. Give or take a little bit because I'm not guaranteeing that that is highly accurate. Let's drop it down again. 10.5 volts. Kicks back in. It's just kicked back in actually. 10.7 ish. Yeah, 
the fan, the fan increasing. Leave it at 12 volts. I mean, 12 volts, 14 volts, depending on what your battery bank is doing. So let's turn these off. I can't actually see what the screen is saying at the minute. There you go, demonstration over.